Dear conscious males, you are no longer men. I don't mean that in the sense that you lack the bulging muscles and caveman qualities so often claimed as cartoonishly and typically masculine by feminists. Simply that you are, to all outward appearances, lacking the will, the volition, and the cognitive function to be seriously considered sentient adult human beings. You are a collection of limp, broken zombies. You are everything feminists have demanded men become taken to its logical conclusion, and the result is pathetic, unappealing, and unintentionally comic. Whether your weak, pathetic self-abasement is sincere or affected in seek of feminist praise, we, the unreconstructed Neanderthals of the world, thank you. Your purpose may be that of a shipwreck, which serves to warn other vessels of dangerous rocks. As a man, I should clarify that although I find your limp, lapdog version of consciousness repulsive in the extreme, you are also repellent to women. Radical feminist propaganda to the contrary, women do not tingle for inert, self-abasing mendicants of the kind you appear to be. No matter how motivated to seek approval, your grotesque self-loathing and flagellation may be. Your deference to emotion held by you in higher esteem than reason signals your abdication of adulthood, of enlightenment, and of sentience. By your craven, crawling apology for the masculinity of men who came before you, be assured you speak only for yourselves. Assuming a hand doesn't occupy your back passage like that of a puppeteer, and the words dribbling from your slack jaw aren't those of your keepers. Your apparent reverence and elevation of mere biological sex to position of worship degrades not only yourselves but the human beings of female sex who you fawn after. Because women, contrary to your mewling and self-serving worship are, like men, simply humans. But no human has dignity when falsely deified and elevated as if a creature of mythical ether. You degrade women by your worship as you degrade yourself. Dear conscious men, in your self-abasement you seek to excise from yourself all visible trace of masculinity and you have, along with any worth that you might have owned. What use are you besides a long droopy lapdog? Words are insufficient to encompass my contempt for your crawling animate corpse and I see clearly what some others might not and that isn't your prostrate form your weakness or your limber back. What I see clearly is your opportunism, your false piety, and the ethic of a carrion eater. Your false reverence has nothing whatsoever to do with respect for women and everything to do with posturing for women's approval. Look at me, I'm a good man, not like those other bad men. <laughs> your simpering, sycophancy stinks of benefit seeking. The women you mule after have more to fear from you than the most direct pugilist. And you too have much to fear, because you lack any ethic except opportunity, and it is plainly visible to many, including me. When you have gone as far as you can go, and the overgrown children you pretend reverence for are startled to discover themselves the idiot termites of a totalitarian nightmare state, for you there will be no prize, not even a cage, just a pit. For you nothing. It will be your mistresses also who deliver you there. Good day, sirs.